Good day, class. So for today, we are going to discuss the structure and management plan. Okay, so when developing a business plan, this management section will describe who will be your management team that includes kinsa mga staff, asanga resources, and how your business ownership is being structured. Okay, and also in this section, it describes who's on your management team. And also, it will show if unsa ang mga skills in each person and how they are going to contribute to your bottom line. Okay? So, for today, this would be your learning outcomes. So, prepare the structure and management plan for your proposed business. Remember that the key factor that would help us, especially in the delivery of our product and services, are these people. That's why we really have to create an organizational plan in order to identify the level of authority and especially the rules and responsibilities of each key person so that while I lapses in the operation and while I chaos. Okay, so your structure and management plan will include of the following. Your organizational chart and structure of the business, the key personnel, the labor requirement and skills, the staffing strategies, the professional advisors, and staffing controls. Okay, so we'll first discuss the organizational chart and structure of your business. The first starting point here is to analyze the tasks required so that you can complete the activities of your business. From this, you can identify the number of staff required, the key personnel, the job roles, and whether one employee can undertake one or more jobs or more in your required roles. So, you already done this in your activity one, but here, you're going to include na kung kinsa to mga possible employee na inyo i-hire for the production and other section in your company na need ninyo o another personnel. For example, co-life hotel. You already have a manager down to different sections like food and beverage director, different office managers, and others. So, in this section, you will just not, you will not just stop here. You, you have to add another personnel like front office in charge, bar persons, and others. And aside from that, you have to identify if pila ka person are needed in each section. Like for example, in front office section, pila ka person ang inyong ibutang diha. If fill in ba ninyo tanan responsibilities or multitask ang inyong mga tao. Okay, so in doing so, you will create a diagram that is very useful tool to depict the rules and hierarchy within your organization. These key persons can be identified on the chart and from each management position, you will have to write a summary of their background. Okay? Uh, their skills, their experiences, and you have to specify mga skills, mga skill gaps or weaknesses, and how a plan could overcome these deficiencies, okay? And aside from that, you have to consider the labor requirement and skills. This is very necessary in preparing a job description for each job. You're going to list the duties of the positions and the job, if full-time ba na siya, part-time ba na siya, and also, it could, if you're going to undertake a contractor ba rather than an employee. Okay, so you are going to consider these questions. Kung saan mo pag-attract, um, kung saan mo preferred na employee, younger ba or inexperienced, um, kung saan man pagtrabaho na nga staff sa imuhang business, kung sa imuhang ma-offer, and career path for their further development. Okay, so you have to consider all of this because you cannot just hire anybody. Remember that again, these people are the one who will deliver the service or product in your heart in your business you could list down your qualification and at the same time consider the status status of your business for example in baking you really want to hire pastry chef in which taas na kaayong experience and from the from big companies na siya and how you're going to attract that person in what capability are you willing to spend in terms of salary kaya bas imuhang budget mga ingana okay and after that, you have to decide. 
your staffing strategies. This is also very important in the business because uh, recruitment or recruiting the best person to, to fulfill the position within your business. Okay, uh, a successful staff in your business is dapat cooperative na siya, productive na siya, and motegi siya responsibility in terms of your uh, goals or, or achievements or goals or achievements kung unsa yung naka, uh, maka-visionize sa inyong company. Okay, so your business plan should reflect decisions in respect to the following, like recruitment, um, rely baka sa advertising through media, or rely baka through referrals, or mga educational institutions or mga friends or current employee employee of your family and in terms of probation period if ihire ni mo ang imo ang tao um naba na siya probation like 6 months okay or inighire ni mo kwa na siya dayon regular mga ingana and then remuneration um what type of Salary man ay mong ihatag nila ang term like hourly ba, weekly ba, or naabal lang kaihatag nga, okay, for 6 months ka nilang ang imuhang sildo, and then after 6 months, if maayaw ang imong evaluation, increasean ka, mga ingana, di ba? And then incentive schemes, I'm sorry, incentive schemes, um, ang sama ng mga incentive ang imuhang ihatag sa imuhang employee, like for example, mga sales bonus, Okay, mga incentive. If maayo ang yung performance na siya other pay, na siya additional pay, mga yana. And work environment. It could be both physical or social environment. Kailangan i-consider. Like mga, mga um, legislation, uh, mga friendly cooperative workplace, mga yana. And also, the training and development. Okay, so what kind of training ang yung ihatag? Kano sa ihatag ni mo ang training? And also your leadership style. It would it be a democratic or autocratic? And after this, you have to consider asking professional advisors. So your business plan plan should also name any external advisors that will help you consult initially day by day. Or if naakay mga certain areas na wala na hibawan regarding sa especially sa inyong um account sa inyong money, kung asa deposit, mga insurances. So, na kay um, professional advisors nga mahatag na mag advice on those matters. You will, for example, mga nga ikag seek advices sa mga strategy on how sa ni mo pagkandak o recruitment. Okay, kay, di lang ba yung kaingon nga, okay, mag, mag hire mi og tao, i-post na mo ang mag-post mi sa media. So, kailangan, dahil ba kayo kailangan i-consider uh, i-consider ang, ang mga balaot kinabi, kaya po na yung mga restrictions. Dito lang ka magka-post nga mo, ni imong kinahanglan. Kaya, of course, na na siya yung mga um, limitations and na po na siya yung mga policy nga kailangan niyo sundon. Okay? And after that, you have also to consider the staffing control in your business. It is very advisable nga you're going to regularly measure and review labor costs Okay, very important na siya. And labor cost, labor cost includes such as mga retirement pension, mga holiday uh, loading, mga medical insurances, mga long-term services, mga training costs, and other incentives and benefits. And also, if the percentage is increasing, you may need to evaluate the performance and productivity of each of your employee. And how are you going to determine if increasing man ang inyong hum production? So, you're going to calculate and it is expressed by the following formula. Okay, so labor cost over sales revenue times 100. Okay, so in formal and documented performance, uh, these reviews are very common and it is practiced by the government and large organization. In small business, it has been used, nagamit sila mga verbal or mga on-the-spot reviews, particularly in praise or pag-rebuke nila sa ilahang employee. Okay? And also, um, this is practiced good in the small businesses good. Okay? So, maon na siya. So, it is very important also that in managing your employee, 
um, dili po siya ingon nga time consuming. Kay of course, makarender ka taas nga time ana. So in the very first step gyud, you have to ipakita gini mo sa ilaha kung unsa ang mga rules and regulations nga gi-impose nimo sa imuhang company so that for them to realize good kung unsa ang goals and targets sa inyuhang business and in doing so part la sa inyuhang business they will be considered as a family and they will help you achieve those goals nga gi-impose nimo sa imuhang business okay so here, for laboratory activity 8, you're going to prepare a structure and management plan for your proposed business. So here, introduction, so nanadiha kung saan ang included sa inyong introduction, your objective, your methodology, and the result na. So here, you're going to create an organizational chart and structure of your business. So, dili lang kay ang inyong i-include ang top level lang ng management. You have to include kinsa to ang mga mid-level management and then the first level management and then kinsa to ang mga mga possible nga i-hire. Like mo to kung gihatag nga example, if na amoy front office department, so kinsa man ang mga bottom line ana. Okay? And then you have to define the labor requirement and skills in your proposed business. You what are your strategies? And you have to defi define the strategies na imong i-apply sa inyong proposed business. And lastly, your learning challenges and suggestion. Okay, so mula na siya ang inyong activity for laboratory activity 8. And deadline for that one is after na siguro sa inyong um, final exam. Kay ang importante karo ninyong himuon is your business proposal in which you're going to present it in July 16th. Okay, so that would be all and thank you class.